What's up, everybody? Liquid Snicker making a quick video for today. For today, uh, for today. Um, what decks do you think could be made competitive over time, or with new cards coming out? Like I'm trying to make Watts competitive, and though I did mess up on what's his face, Electric Seahorse, Electric Avenue, <laughs> Electric Seahorse. He only gets a level four. 16 and below, he doesn't get level 4 and below, so I messed up on that, so I basically lost the duel when I did that ruling, and yeah, just <laughs> letting you know. Well, anyways, what decks do you think can be made competitive besides Watts, like, uh, you know, Psychics came back when Grand Total came back, that guy made a Psychic deck, but I think it also depends on what people don't expect. If you make a deck with cards that people really don't expect, I think you have a higher chance of winning when you, uh, when they, you know for a fact no one can go against it. Um, what else is there? I'm trying to remember other crap. I, I'm already forgetting. <laughs> yeah, but when you make decks where where no one really knows what what the actual purpose of it is, they tend to get confused because they have no idea what's going on. So they'll veil the wrong things, they'll maxi the wrong things, that type of crap. Uh, it's always going to make a deck where every card has a purpose against what's going on at the moment, but that card no one knows about. That kind of makes sense. Like, I remember when Phoenix Chain, people started using it, I was like, that's always, I always thought that was a crappy card, but, you know, when people actually read it, people didn't know what it was, what it did, you know, people started using it, and people were like, oh, it's actually not that bad of a card, so people started using it again. I'm trying to remember what other cards, like Grand Soil, I guess, for example, uh, when, that, when that guy, what was his name, Jeff Jones or whatever, won YCS, everyone was like, oh, shit, you know, that deck's actually pretty good. The only reason why it was good because it was unexpected. Just because it's unexpected doesn't make it good. If you make a deck that doesn't follow what's going on with the format right now, you, well, what are they called? Rogue decks, I think. You have a good chance of winning because no one knows what the hell's going on with your deck, and you can easily get around certain situations and things like that. But what type of deck do you think can get to that level of you can get through uh, a certain amount of people by easily playing that deck? You get around the decks going on right now, like Mermail. Uh, Samurai, I don't know if Samurai is even played anymore. <laughs> Mermail, as much, I mean. Mermail, Samurai, Dark World. Dark, I, don't, I don't see that much Dark World anymore. I guess because they're easy to fight against. Rabbit, those type of decks. Let me guys' opinion. Comment below. Sorry for the short video today. I slept all day because I feel like garbage. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys around. Bye.